Welcome back to the RPG Maker MV tutorial series level 2. In this episode we'll continue expanding our world map and we'll add in some dungeons. Let's get into it! Okay, the next step is to set up our forest. So we do the same kind of thing. We'll right click on a forest tile, click quick event creation, transfer. Now where we want to go here is to our forest map. In this case we're actually going to be going, we're going to start at the bottom of the map just about there. Click OK. We'll just head up. Once again, it doesn't really matter in this case, but we'll just do that anyway. And we'll do Control c Control v for each of these tiles. That means that no matter which tile we walk into, we're going to end up in the forest. Just to make it a little bit more clear that this forest goes across the whole zone, I'm going to cl click on Map Mode. I'll right-click on the forest, and I'll just expand it so that it goes all the way up here. Fantastic. What I might even do is add a path from the forest, uh, from the village up to the forest. And then that way we know that the player is guided towards the forest. I can press this event uh, mode up here, or I can press F6 to switch quickly from event to event. In this case, we can now go to quick event creation and we want to transfer into the forest, but this time we'll be going the other way because as you can see here, we'd actually be coming from this side to access this square. So we're going to the forest and the top of the forest map, click OK and this time we want to be going down and we'll click OK. I'll just copy that event up to here. Now it's a bit incongruous, we're coming in from the left and we're going to head into the forest and we're going to be going down. We can tweak our map to make that look better later on, but that's for another episode. Our next step was to make a t uh, path coming out of the forest. We wanted to have a town. We'll go past the town and then we're going to go to our deep dark wood over here somewhere. To put a town, we'll just click on the B tile set We'll highlight this castle looking town here, make sure that we're in map mode, and just click that. Now to highlight the whole town you need to actually click and drag and that will highlight the entire section. You can click and drag as many tiles as you want and that will actually place all of those tiles, but we only want the four tiles here. So we'll place our normal town here, and so the idea is that we come out of the fishing village, we go into the forest, come out of the forest, and into the normal town. Now, first things first, we actually need to make our exits from the forest so that we don't forget that. We'll press F6 to go into our event mode. We'll go quick event creation. We'll do a transfer. Now this is going out of the forest and we're going to be going down out of the forest and back to our town. So we'll click OK. Control C, Control V, Control V. And same deal again at the top. Right click, quick event creation. In this case we're going to be coming out of our forest onto the other side. Click OK. We're going to go to the left. Even though we're heading up here. The magic of gaming. So now we come out of the forest and we need to go into our town. So let's right click, same deal again, quick event creation, transfer. This time we want to go into our normal town. The entrance is down here. Click on the entrance, click OK. We want to go up. Doesn't matter whether we come in from the left, from the top, from the right or from the bottom, we want to be heading up when we hit the town. So let's click OK. And we can Control C, Control V this across each of those points. Now this means that what we will do is we will actually enter the town from any of these locations and when we enter the town we'll end up at the, at the front gate there. So that's a pretty good start. Now we want to head over to our Lost Forest. You can simply, um, we can, we'll just press F5 to go into our map mode. We'll right click on this mountain and we'll just add another little mountain here so that we've blocked off our entrance. So we can only come in from one tile. That just makes it a bit easier. Then we don't need to worry about um, having multiple tile entrances. 
I press F6 again to go back to my entry and I'm going to just put a quick event creation again transfer now we want to go to the lost forest that's entering here click OK we're going to be going down doesn't matter because we're actually going to be heading down automatically but we'll put it there and then f f on the other side we want to do the same kind of thing so let's just make sure that we've got some mountains here that are blocking off the any entrances we only want to have one entrance fantastic we can right click to get a pathway so we know exactly where we're going okay and we'll be exiting on this side now if we were going into the forest we're going from this side so we'll press F6 a quick event creation to transfer okay if we're going back up in the other direction so we'll just do lost forest now that would be coming up so we'll be coming up from the bottom here click OK we'll be heading up alright now let's go to our lost forest map we want to make sure that we can get in and out of the forest so we'll just start here quick event creation transfer we want to go to the world map and that would be the world map at the top so we'd be exit out here okay we'd be going up doesn't matter but that's we'll just do it anyway one two three four five of those squares down the bottom and the same deal down here on the bottom of the lost forest map we'll go to transfer this time we're going to go to the world map at the bottom and we'll click we'll go down doesn't matter again control C control V control V control V excellent so now we can enter and exit our lost forest we can enter and exit our town okay from there we also want to create a path now this path we just imagine it's a little bit more of a sketchy path when you press F5 to go into mapping mode I'm just going to quickly like drag my mouse and just so it creates a sort of a patchy kind of a path just make it not so even probably just a bit too much there okay a little bit of patchy path there we go and that just gives us a sort of a sense of a kind of a wasteland okay now we're going to choose our ruined tower that that'll be our location to head to there put our ruined tower down and the next location is going to be our tower same deal again, press F6, we'll right click on the entrance to the tower, quick event creation, and from there we're going to do a transfer to the tower. We'll enter down the, from the bottom. Uh, now, whichever direction we come in from, we want to be heading up when we go in, so we'll do that. And we'll just make a little exit from the tower here so we can come out to the world map. And that's, then we've just got to find our tower, and we'll exit the tower over here. Okay, we want to go down when we come out, so let's do that. Fantastic. Now, from our tower, we wanted to create some teleports to our dungeons. So, same again, we'll just do quick event creation, transfer. We'll choose our stone cave can head up from here so we'll just make sure that we're heading up when we go in there click OK we're going to slightly adjust this let's double click on this event that we've just created we'll change the sound effect to more of a teleport sound and that way we know that we're not just walking so you can check the sounds if you want to have a listen to what it sounds like and so what we're doing is we double clicked then in here where we had the um, play sound effect just click on that, press space to adjust it, choose the one that you want, click OK, click OK. And now that means that this, this will now do a teleport sound effect rather than uh, a walking sound effect. Over here we'll do the same thing, we'll just paste it over here, and this time we're going to change the location that we're going to teleport to, to the ice cave. Okay, so to change the location, all we did was, we double click on the pasted event, we click on transfer player event um, content item, press space, 
where it says designation, click there, uh, and then that will tell that will give us the option to choose a new map. Click OK, click OK, click OK. All right, now I'm just going to paste that over these four squares so that they all go to the ice cave. So these are all going to the stone cave. These are all going to the ice cave. I'll just paste again up here. Double click. Same deal again. I'm going to click on the transfer player option here. Press space. Click there. Click on the cursed cave. Going to find the location in the cursed cave to teleport to. Click OK. Click OK. So now we have a teleport sound effect working there. Same thing again over here. This time I'm going to do the lava cave. Press space. Hit lava cave. Find the location. Click OK. Click OK. Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V. So now we have teleports to all of our caves, um, but we don't have a teleports back to the tower from the cave. So that's pretty critical. So what we want to do is set up a, a place where we can actually come back. Now, um, I like to use this nice little teleport looking uh, this sort of entrance and it looks a bit um, mysteri myst mysterious. So we'll just make sure that we go into map mode. We'll find a location at the top of the stone cave and just once again you've got to click and drag to select both of those and then left click to put that down. Put in these little sort of teleport looking pedestals down here. Now they're down one so that they look like they're extending up over the wall. And so that'll be our nice little teleport location. Now how do we get a teleport event? I don't want to use the same event as our normal transfer events. I'm going to click on the Hall of Transference and I'm going to go to my event mode. I'm going to find this little event here and click Control C. And I'm going to go back to my stone cave and I'm going to Control V. Now this event has an image. Okay, if I double click on that you can actually see it's under door 2 and it's over here. Click OK. And it's stepping. Now that means that it will be showing an animation automatically. It's not going to move anywhere, but it will actually step. It will, it will step through its different animations, uh, animation um, pieces. Okay, so this doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't go anywhere. So we want to fix that up. Now we want to play our sound effect. So we'll double click uh, in the first blank contents line and we will click on uh, number page 2 to play and play SE down the bottom, play sound effect. Okay, once again we're going to scroll down and find our teleport sound effect and click OK. Then we'll double click on the next line, we'll click movement transfer player and this is the same thing as, uh, as all the other ones that we've been doing. Now this time we want to just transfer back to a central location over here um, just under where this sort of teleport looking space is going to be. Um, and that obviously doesn't look as exciting as what we might like it to be. So let's just fix that up so that it looks a bit more like our Hall of Transference as well. So we've got this wonderful kind of uh, symbol, magic symbol here and, and a bit more magical looking um, item. Now we can find that on our tile set B. Okay, and there we are. So let's go back into mapping mode. We'll just fix up our tower a little bit. Let's put this kind of magical looking bit there. And uh, our symbol is actually on tile set C. Same deal again, click and drag to highlight the whole thing. And I'll just put it in here. Okay. Now, I'm also going to make an event from uh, that's very similar to the whole of transference. So, in this case, what we want to do is we want to um, we'll copy the whole of transference event. Okay, so in event mode click on the whole of transference event, come back here, press paste. Okay, this one is actually going to go to the whole of transference. So double click again, play sound effect, teleport. So I could have just copied the other one, but I'm just doing it again one more time. As a refresher, double click again, transfer player. This one will transfer through to the whole of transference, right there. Click OK. And in this case we're going to go down because the Hall of Transference has a downwards direction. Fantastic! So that's the Stone Cave. Uh, the tower to the Stone Cave we can do via here. The Stone Cave to the tower we can now do via here. Let's um, copy this transfer and we'll go to the Ice Cave. We'll find a spot for it on the Ice Cave and we'll go to the Cursed Cave. 
find a spot for it on the cursed cave. And we'll go to the lava cave and we'll find a spot for it on the lava cave. Then we can go into our map mode and we can do the same thing that we did in each of those caves, which is to find a create this sort of entrance, kind of mysterious looking entrance. And we can just do that on each of those caves. And then we can use our pedestals. And that means that everywhere that the player goes, they'll be able to clearly recognize that there's a teleport here. And each of those is automatically going back to the tower because we just copied and pasted the same event. And they've got the teleport sound and they've got the teleport effect. We customize those later on if we want to for each cave, etc. But for now, this will do. So now we've got tower to the caves, caves back to the tower, and then the tower to the Hall of Transference. The assumption is that we'll be setting this up so that that only opens after an event is kicked off, and those, that event would be something like completing all the bosses in the four caves. So here we are at our Hall of Transference. Now we're almost done setting up our map. So the Hall of Transference will simply have an exit from here. So we'll do the same thing again, quick event creation, transfer. This time we're going to exit to the floating temple. We're just going to come straight out the door. Doesn't matter in this case, but we'll go down. We'll copy that across to each of those. And then we'll set up a floating an entrance at the floating temple. Now here there's a nice doorway. So we'll right click, we'll do a quick event creation, and we'll do a door. The default door is like that, but it's not going to match our temple. So well, let's choose, let's double click on the image and choose a more appropriate temple door. Click OK. Now you can see that looks a lot better. When we move in we actually want to I'll just um we'll just delete that again and we'll start again. Okay so we'll right click quick event creation door chosen our door. Now we don't want to go to the floating temple we want to go to the hall of transference. Click OK. OK. Now you can always edit this later on by double clicking the event, find the transfer player section and press space to edit that or right click and press edit. Now the sound effect here, I press space to play that, it's not what we want. So let's look for something a bit more solid. Um, there are some door sound effects and uh, if we have a look at door 2, sounds a lot more like the kind of door that we would want for this look. And so there we are, we ha are now able to move through our world from start almost to the finish and we'll set up the end scene right at the end and we'll set up the start scene uh, in the next round. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider smashing those like and subscribe buttons as they do help with the algorithm. Now it's your turn to go make a game. See you in the next one! That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider smashing those like and subscribe buttons as they do help with the algorithm. Now it's your turn to go make a game. See you in the next one!